It is Tuesday, January 29th, as we welcome you to Midland High School for girls' varsity basketball action as the Dow High Chargers make the trip across town to take on the Midland High Chemics. A good evening, everyone, as we welcome you to Midland High. Jason Harper alongside Tom Bell. And, Tom, tonight we've got a matchup between two teams near the top of the standings in the Saginaw Valley. The Midland High Chemics coming into this game with a 10-3 and record. Very impressive, but even more impressive, the other side of town, the Dow High Chargers coming into this game. A perfect 14-0 and on the season. They are currently ranked sixth in the state. Bob Wellman has got a Dow High Charger group that is on fire and playing great basketball. And they are a very balanced group and one that's bought into uh, distributing the ball and giving everybody an opportunity to score. Uh, very impressive. 14-0. It's been a long time since we've had a team in this area get this far in Class A and still be undefeated. Yeah, in fact, I don't remember the last time that a team was 14-0 for the Dow High Chargers. And as you mentioned, it is a team that is extremely balanced. It is also a team that knows how to win, and they find a way to win the close games. Uh, and th they do, and this is a group that has uh, experienced a great deal of success at uh, younger ages. On the other side of the coin, you see the Midland High Kimmicks warming up. They are 10-3 and three on the season. When you talk about the Midland High Kimmicks and Coach Elaine Mahabier, you talk about uh, future Big Ten player Jessica Walter. Yeah, and, uh, and, and Elaine is the first one to say she's not the whole team, but uh, her skills uh, are really what Dow High has got to try to stop tonight. Uh, outstanding outside shooter and uh, continues to keep her teammates involved. And I also have Lily Hami, who is a post player that can come out and hit the three. And Midland High is desperately looking for a consistent number three scorer uh, to make their team uh, very lethal. Uh, this is a, uh, a Midland High team that is still fairly young, but they are a team that knows that they need to play as a team if they want to defeat the Dow High Chargers. Yes, and you're, they're, they're coming off. Uh, they've got a lot of talented girls off a junior varsity team last year. They graduated a lot of experience, but uh, they're, they're in it to reestablish themselves as one of the top teams in the Saginaw Valley. Now we've got two of the best teams in the Saginaw Valley about to do battle in varsity girls basketball here on MPS TV Channel 98. The crowd is set, and we are just about ready to go with what should be a fantastical ball game between the 10-3 and Midland High Chemics and the 14-0 Dow High Chargers. Right now, let's meet our starting lineup and our national anthem. Let's turn things over to our public address announcer, Jeff Yoder.
Starting lineups, and we are just about set to go with one of two broadcast games this weekend here on MPS TV. The girls about ready to face off, and also this weekend, if you haven't had a chance to catch it yet, the Midland High versus Dow High boys basketball varsity game also airing this weekend here on MPS TV. The Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Chemics and a quick look up at our starting lineup. The Dow High Chargers with Christine Muscle, Kelly Wetcamp, Josie Query, Aaron O'Neill, and Heather Durstein as the starting five. Midland High countering with Emily Homan, Jeff Walter, Alyssa Westfall, Emily Resmer, and Lily Hami as their five. Midland High in the home white, Dow High in their visiting green, and Tom, we're ready for some basketball. Boy, this is long awaited. Uh, they've waited till the end of January for their first match of the season. Brian Gold tips the ball up in the air and we are set to go. The Dow High Chargers winning the toss. Heather Durstein taking control. Dow High now to Kaylee Wetcamp working it back as they change directions. The Dow High Chargers, Wetcamp thought about the three, decides against it. Chargers to set up the play. First possession of the game. Looking to go inside and able to battle herself free. Heather Durstein, the senior, doing a nice job getting by her defender. And Durstein puts the Chargers on the board. Midland High works to the top of the key to Emily Homan. Now to Jeff Walter. Walter, the leading scorer on this Midland High basketball team. Walter being guarded very closely by Wetcamp. Feeds it over to Emily Holman. Holman tried to get the shot to go, couldn't do it, but great positioning by Alyssa Westfall. The junior Westfall putting the bucket in. We're tied a minute into the contest. Dow High quickly looking to go underneath. Had a gal wide open. Now they work it back out. Shot taken is no good by Query. And the ball goes out of bounds, and Dow High will maintain possession. It'll be interesting. We've got uh, J Josie Query and uh, Jessica Walter. They've got the, matched up uh, the two of them together. Two individuals that know each other well. Wetcamp with the ball for Dow High. Works it back over to Aaron O'Neill. Now a three-point shot fired from the left-hand side. is no good. Rebound by Emily Wesmer. As mentioned, Midland High, a very young team. Only three seniors on the Midland High team. And the first foul of the contest will send the Dow High Chargers to the free throw line. The foul on Resmer. And Josie Query, the senior, on the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. All but one starting charger is a senior. That kind of is the uh, discrepancy that we have here in this contest. Midland High very young, Dow High senior led. Query able to get both free throws to fall through. Dow High with a 4-2 lead. 6.35 to play here in the opening quarter. Walter. Working the ball for the Midland High Chemics. Walter trying to get by a screen set by Westmer. Walter with a nice pass over to Westfall. And Westfall with all four of Midland High's early points in the contest. Great setup pass by, by Jess Walter. All tied up. And Tom, we anticipated this would be a close game. So far, that's what we're getting. And an open lane for Dow High's uh, Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp will be fouled if she tries to drive to the basket. So two quick fouls on the 
Midland High Chemex and what camp will be on the free throw line? Well, we've been watching Midland High play man-to-man, and uh, it really looks like uh, Dow High is putting two girls on Walter, and Walter is really m- making them pay with some really good passing. Kaylee Wetkamp missing her first free throw. The second one does fall through. Dow High leading by one. The Chargers putting some pressure on the Midland High Kimmix. Walter setting up the play for the Kimmix. Midland High trying to get somebody open underneath. Walter giving it to Lily Hami, another junior and a captain on the team. Hami puts up the shot, no good. Great rebound and put back by Westfall, but the bucket does not go. Chargers will get the rebound, come back the other direction. Durstein working the ball at the top of the key for the Chargers. Heather will take a couple of dribbles, works it back over to Kaylee Wetkamp. Dow High will reset up their play with Josie Query. The senior guard, one of the leaders on this Dow High Charger team. Christine Muscle, three-point shot. A little bit too short. Midland High with position for the rebound. Walter will bring down the board. Walter with a great pass to Westfall. Count it again. Alyssa Westfall, six points here in the first three minutes of the game. Jeff Walter doing a great job passing. Westfall finishing the job. And I think uh, Liz Westfall may owe uh, Walter a lunch here pretty quick. On the other side, Kaylee Wetkamp able to get open for the three-pointer. First three of the game. Wetkamp able to give Dow High a two-point lead. And the first Charger foul will be drawn as Lily Hami able to uh, get Christine Muscle to overcommit and draw the foul. Chargers making the first substitutions of the game. Jenna Query comes into the game. She's the younger sister of Josie. And also Emily Lyman, a sophomore, checks in. So the youngsters come in for the Dow High Chargers. Jessica Sapansky also checking in. She's a senior. Midland High with nobody to inbound the ball to. Has to go deep over to Holman to try to get the ball in. Chargers with great pressure resulting in the turnover. Josie Query looking to go coast to coast and still draw the foul. Well, uh, Je- Jessica Walter tried to buy it that uh, she didn't make contact, but uh, I think that uh, Query may have leaned in when she saw that Walter was that close. Yeah, great steal and then a great drive by Josie Query. She's now on the free throw line for the Chargers, able to get the first one to fall through. Second shot by Query is no good. Rebound pulled down by Westfall, who's having a terrific game for the Midland High Chemex. She's had uh, a number of rebounds, too, already. Nine to six, Dow High with a three point lead. Chemex working the ball at the top of the perimeter. Westfall works it back over to Emily Westmer. Now to Jess Walter as the Chemex look to set up a play. Holman takes a couple of dribbles, feeds it over to Hami. Hami, three-point shot, no good. Rebound by Resmer. That shot is no good. Walter's put, or Holman's put back, does fall through. Emily Holman getting the basket for the Kimmicks to pull within one, but quickly Kaylee Wetkamp firing for the Chargers. Can't get the shot to go, and an offensive rebound is going to be called against Dow High. And it, it appears that Jenna Query was over the back uh, trying desperately to get that rebound. Another sub coming in, Carly McGee, another sophomore checking into the game, and Christine Muscle also entering. Very, uh, we should point out, Tom, Dow High, a lot of subs in the first four minutes of this game. The Chemex have yet to bring a sub into the contest. Uh, I was just going to say, Dow is uh, trying to show exactly what kind of depth they've got. They've got a lot of youngsters out on the floor right now. Jess Walter being guarded closely by Christine Muscle. Walter trying to take a screen. Emily Resmer found herself open for a while. Westfall couldn't get the shot to go. Chargers will come back the other direction. Muscle feeding it over, and a three-point shot is not going to take place. Traveling is called on Lyman. 
Three and a half minutes to play here in the first quarter. Dow High leading by one. And, Tom, the opening moments of this contest, is this going pretty much as you expected? Well, I think they're both trying to feel each other out. Uh, neither team has had a much of a run. Uh, Dow spent a lot of time uh, knowing where Walter is. And uh, Midland High's playing pretty good defense down at their end of the ball. Walter had a great move but couldn't come up with a basket on the other end. Jenna Query had a great move. She couldn't come up with a basket. Now Lily Hami with a move and the basket. And the Midland High Kimmicks take the lead 10-9. Hami's first bucket of the evening. Chargers working around to Muscle. Muscle on the far side, feeding it over to McGee. McGee has the shot stolen away. Nice defense by Holman. And then a foul called. Maybe a uh, kind of frustration that uh, losing the ball. And the foul on the Dow High Chargers will even the fouls up to three apiece. Was that on uh, Query? It was on Jenna Query, okay. which is going to be her second. So Query will head to the bench as soon as we get a stoppage in play. Jenna comes off the bench, picks up two quick fouls. Midland High by one early in this contest. Kimmicks with the ball right now. Couple of dribbles by Hami. Hami feeds it over to Walter. Walter feeds it to Emily Refman. Ball goes out of bounds. Kimmicks to keep possession. Now Jenna Query will head to the bench as Macy Doster, another senior, checks into the game. A lot of bodies on this Dow High roster. Almost everybody getting some playing time here in the first quarter. Holman, couple of dribbles, loses it, tries to feed it inside. The battle underneath, and we're going to have a travel called on Westfall. That one, uh, not much that Alyssa could do. She was kind of fed that ball in a lot of traffic. Yeah, it was kind of a, a tough location. 2.20 to play here in the first quarter. Kimmix by one. Chargers feeding the ball to Carly McGee, who was wide open. McGee can't get the shot to go, but Doster with an offensive rebound for the Chargers. Muscle now working over to Query. Query, couple of dribbles back to Muscle. Muscle to McGee. McGee drives into the paint, then bounce passes it off through the baseline. Shot does not fall through. Great rebound by Sapansky. She can't get the bucket to go. Ball is still loose. McGee's got it, feeds it back to the outside, and we're going to have a travel called on Query. Chargers had plenty of opportunities underneath, could not get a bucket to fall. Well, Dow is really, really aggressive underneath their own basket, and they've been getting lots of extra shots there. Uh, it's just too bad that they haven't been really rewarded for their effort yet. Again, a lot of substitutions by Bob Wellman and the Dow High Chargers. Kaylee Wetcamp comes back into the game. Heather Durstein uh, also into the game for the Chargers. We do have Autumn Enzer has just entered the game. First Kimmick substitution of the contest. Just under two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Jessica Walter fires a long three-pointer. It's short and a rebound by Wetcamp. Wetcamp doing a nice job blocking out her opposition. Feeds it to Muscle who goes back to Query. Query looking to switch directions. Took a screen but can't get the shot to go. And the battle for the rebound will be won by Walter. Three on two for the Kimmicks and from behind, Query trying to pick the pocket of Walter ends up drawing the foul. The foul will be the fourth one on the Dow High Chargers. The first one on Josie Query. Still a one-point game between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Dow High undefeated on the season. Midland High only three losses. Into the paint. Nice move by Lily Hami. The junior has her second basket of the game. Midland High with a three-point lead. Wet camp. Three-pointer. No good. Midland High rebounds. Autumn Enzer pulls down the board. Under a minute to play here in the first quarter. Dow High pulling back on the pressure a little bit. will give the Midland High Kimmicks a chance to either run down the final minute or trying to get something inside. Instead, it's Lily Hami with a three-pointer. Hami becoming the leading scorer on the Midland High Kimmicks as she drains a three. Midland's got their biggest lead of the game. Dow High wide open, nobody by wet camp, and Enzer will draw the foul. Midland High with a uh, lapse on defense, and 
It resulted in Kaylee Wetkamp driving almost uh, like a practice layup to the basket. And as a result, the foul will send Wetkamp to the free throw line. Well, Midland kind of overshifted uh, to the left-hand side and left uh, Wetkamp wide open. But you'll notice that uh, Midland High is ahead by six points. And Jess Walter, who's averaging 25 a game, has had two shots and has yet to score. So they're getting a lot of help from other spots right now. Well, that is something that Elaine Mahabier really wanted to see. It is something that the Kimmick team has focused on throughout this season. They know that Jeff Walter is the leader, but they also know that they can't win unless other players step up. And here in the first quarter, those other players are stepping up. And this is giving their, their younger players uh, a chance for uh, some competition against the fire. And uh, Jess is uh, a really good distributing guard as well as an outstanding scorer. Jess Walter has the ball. Final seconds here in the first quarter. Walter being guarded closely. Spins, fires, can't get the shot to go. The putback will count, but it doesn't go by Enzer. And the first quarter will come to an end here at Midland High with the Kimmicks on top of the Dow High Chargers by a score of 15-9. to A great first quarter beginning what should be a great game here as we take a look at Bob Wellman and the Dow High Chargers. And as uh, Bob Wellman does his coaching duties, we will let you know that if you're just tuning in, you can catch this game in its entirety Thursday, January 31st through February 5th. This game will air at 2.30 in the afternoon every single day. And then it will also air at 10 o'clock at night. So Thursday through Tuesday, 2.30 in the afternoon, 10 o'clock at night. And for more playback times, be sure to check out the Midland Public Schools website. And this game will also be available to stream online in the very near future. So a lot of opportunities to check out the Kimmicks and the Chargers here as we enter February. In a couple of weeks from now, we do it all again on Valentine's Day weekend over at Dow High. So a couple of weekends and uh, four great basketball games here on MTS TV. You know, and lo- looking at the first quarter, I don't think Bob Wellman is really surprised. Uh, when a team is undefeated, they tend to play a little little more cautiously, and he just wants to get them loose and let them play ball. Midland High inbounds, and we are off and running here with the second quarter of play. Jess Walter with the ball for the Midland High Kimmicks. Walter being double teamed, no place to go. Finds Autumn Enzer open. Enzer for the high dribble. Dow High collapsing on her, but she was able to get the ball back to Walter. Walter over to Hami, open for the three, count it. Lily Hami with her second three pointer of the game. Hami is in double digits with 10 of Midland High's 18, and the Kimmicks are up by nine. Josie Query driving in, can't get the shot to go. One of the fouls didn't get the call. Midland will come back the other way. I think she was expecting it. Walter, three-pointer, no good. Rebound pulled down by Westfall, and Westfall will be fouled. Now the Midland High Chemics right now has got the momentum in their favor. Yeah, when uh, Query was going in for the layup, uh, Walter was side by side, and Walter decided just to back off, and Query was expecting the contact. It never happened and threw off her shot. The Midland High Chemex will inbound underneath their own basket. Midland High finds Emily Homan. Homan goes right back to Walter. Walter to Homan, three-pointer. No good. Midland High with the rebound. Resmer being double teamed. Works it back out. Hami with a three-pointer. That one is no good. Another offensive rebound. Shot doesn't fall through. And we're going to have a jump ball as Resmer and Sapansky battle for the possession arrow in favor of the Dow High Chargers. But how about the offensive rebounding for the Midland High Chemics? Everything but the bucket. Well, I think that uh, Dow High is so concerned about where Jess Jess Walter is, they're losing out on some of their uh, responsibilities on the the rebounding edge. Josie Query works the ball over to McGee. McGee with a quick pass to the left-hand side. Three-pointer by Durstein is no good. Midland will come back the other direction. Feeding to Walter, and Walter is fouled hard as Durstein was trying to get over to intercept the pass. They end up colliding. 
And as a result, uh, Midland High will have the ball out of bounds. Not only the fifth foul on the Dow High Chargers. Now the officials are going to get together and talk things over. I don't know what they are trying to decide. I mean, it was obvious who the foul was on. And that's what they're, I think that's what they're clarifying. Brian Gold, Bruce Moore, and Scott Helmka are the three officials assigned for, uh, for this game. And now we've got a timeout. Bob Wellman decides that he wants to uh, talk things over. So the officials will talk things over, and Bob Wellman will talk things over. We've got a break with 6.37 to play here in the first quarter. Midland High leading by nine over the Dow High Chargers, and I believe this is only a 30-second timeout. There's a, t- a look at the MHSAA officials and a look at Eileen Mahabier talking to the Midland High Chemics, and right now Midland High is playing pretty good basketball. They are, and I think that if you're looking at the uh, point of view of either coach, uh, I, I think I, I like the uh, point of view of Elaine that she can talk to her girls. We're underdogs. This Dow High team's rated, and uh, she doesn't have to work hard to get her girls up for the game. Dow High's just got to get rolling and protect their, what would you say, they're sixth or seventh in the state? They're sixth in the state okay. right now. And that is something that Bob Wellman wanted to focus on as Lily Hami hits another three-pointer for the Midland High Chemex. Hami dynamite here in the first half. Midland High leading 21-9. to One of the things that Bob Wellman wanted to talk about is we've got a possible jump ball. No, the Chargers throw it away. Midland High, how about another two points for Lily Hami? She has got 15 points on the game thus far, and Midland High's got their biggest lead, 23-9. Bob Wellman was a little worried as the Chargers draw the lane. Heather Durstein will go to the free throw line, but Wellman's concern was the fact that the, the hype of the Midland Dow game, the hype of being undefeated, he wanted to stress that this is just a basketball game. Uh, correct. And, uh, you know, the, the Dow High players know that uh, Walter is a pretty accomplished player. But they also know that Hami is going to score points if you let her. And they're letting her right now. And right now, Midland High is doing what they need to do. They're not relying on Jeff Walter, who is still scoreless in this contest. Instead, they're relying on Hami and Westfall and the other players to pick up Walter. She's scoreless, but she's still making an impact in this game. On the free throw line, the Dow High Chargers able to get the free throw. Heather Durstein putting the bucket through. It's a 13-point lead for the Midland High Chemics. We're early in the second quarter. Hami driving in and another beautiful shot. Lily Hami with a great reverse. And Bob Wellman needs to call a timeout. The Dow High Chargers having a hard time stopping Hami here in the second quarter, and Wellman needs to talk things over. Well, and that's just a breakdown defensively. They allowed Hami uh, to drive baseline, and there was no weak side help. You've got uh, girls just kind of caught up in the hype of the game, and they got to help out on defense. Right now it is a 15-point contest with the Midland High Chemics on top, 25 to 10 over the Dow High Chargers. You're watching high school basketball on MPS TV, channel 98. And if you're just tuning in to this contest and you want to know how you can become involved in local high school athletics, how you can become involved with MCTV and MPS television, well, all you have to do is come to the next orientation, which is going to be on Saturday, February the 9th. It takes place at 10 o'clock in the morning in the MCTV studio, which is located in the library. The cost is just $4. $45, which also includes your first first year user fee. For more information on how you can become an MCTV volunteer, call that number, 837-3474. The Dow High Chargers looking to get back into this contest. Dow High, with the exception of the free throws, they have been held scoreless since the second quarter began. Dow High almost lost the dribble there. Josie Query able to regain control of the ball, and Dow High looking to set something up. Right now, Midland just seems to be the quicker team. Durstein working the ball. She's being double teamed. Goes back out to Carly McGee. 
McGee with the bounce pass to Query, but quickly the Midland High defense is right there. Chargers continue to work the ball around the perimeter. Now driving in is Durstein, and we're going to have a foul called before they shot to take place. It will be the sixth team foul on Midland High, foul so we'll be Emily shooting Holman. from here on out. Emily Holman, I think they're going to catch. He, she reached back and grabbed her as she went by. That's the second one on Holman, so she will head to the bench. Autumn Enzer will come back into the game for Midland. Five minutes to play here in the second quarter. Chargers a long inbound pass to McGee. McGee picks up her dribble. Christine Muscle now in that guard position at the top of the key. Midland's defense not allowing Dow High any opportunity to get underneath. They continue to work the ball around the perimeter looking for something to open up. Sapansky works it over to McGee. McGee tries to feed it inside. Now they go Inside to Query, Jenna Query playing with two fouls will end up drawing the foul and uh, well, the crowd doesn't like it but it will be Josie Query that will go to the free throw line. So the Query sisters working well on that drive to try to make something out of nothing. Well, you know, you, you, uh, wait a minute, they've got Query count going to the line. Did they call it on Resma? Uh, we'll find out momentarily, Josie Query uh, no, that, that's on Walter. On the free throw line, they did call it on Walter, which is going to be her second. Query able to get the first free throw to fall. Second one is no good. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Midland High basketball. Four and a half minutes to play here in the second quarter. Both teams are in the bonus. We'll be shooting free throws from here on out here this quarter. A couple of players playing with two fouls apiece. Nobody's got three fouls. Lily Hami missing the shot. A rare miss this contest for Hami. Dow High getting the rebound. Josie Query looking to pull it out. Hami nearly came up with a steal. Great job by Hami of getting back on defense. Christine Muscle at the top of the key. Over to McGee. McGee doesn't hold on to it long. Sapansky now works it back over to Jenna Query. Muscle now over to McGee. McGee feeds it inside. Open underneath was Sapansky, but Sapansky could not get the shot to go. Midland High looking to get the ball across midcourt. Dow High that time found the girl open underneath, but unable to get any points for it. Midland High, however, they do. Alyssa Westfall. Open, and she's able to put the shot in. Westfall's got eight points on the contest. Midland High with a big 27-11 lead. Three and a half minutes to play here in the second quarter. Jenna Query, she's a sophomore, working over to Muscle. Christine Muscle taking a couple of dribbles. Lily Hami is on her, knocks the ball away, but McGee able to recover. Carly McGee feeds it to Josie Query. Query drives in. A lot of contact. No foul. Now a late whistle coming in. And we'll see if we've got a foul called or if they're just going to call the ball out of bounds. They're just going to say the ball went out of bounds. A lot of contact underneath, but no foul called. That's interesting. I would have called traveling on Walter, I think, because she was backpedaling. Maybe that's how they bailed out the call. I don't know. I wasn't even sure that... She had possession. That's a good question, too. Either way, Dow High working the basketball. Midland High's defense has been superb here in the second quarter. Three-point shot taken by Christine Muscle does not fall through, and Midland High will get the basketball. Now, the first quarter was fairly even, Tom, but the second quarter has belonged to the Midland High Chemex, led by Lily Hami and Alyssa Westfall. The Chemex... With a 27-11 lead, 2.45 to play. Well, the change really started late in that first quarter. Trying to go inside and stepping out of bounds. Good hustle by Emily Lyman, but the sophomore ends up stepping out of bounds. So Midland High will inbound underneath their own basket. This has been amazing. Walter trying to inbound the ball off of Query's foot, and the ball took an awkward bounce, and the Kimmick still able to keep possession of it. Not the way they designed it. 
Walter in the paint, no place to go. She's being double teamed, and we're going to have a three-second call. Jeff Walter was in the paint. A couple yeah. of other chemics were as well, and that time, good defense by the Dow High Chargers made it so that Walter had no place to go. Yeah, she, 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 she got in there w w without a real plan, and that, that's unusual for her. Dow High, couple of dribbles by Macy Doster, who has checked into the game. Now it's Christine Muscle. Muscle works it back around. Doster with a couple of dribbles goes inside. Doster gets the ball back, tries to bank it in, can't do it. Autumn Evner will get the rebound, and a reach in foul will be called against the Chargers. I don't know if Dow's just rushing every shot inside. What's happening? But. I think Bob is uh, looking forward to regrouping in the locker room. I don't think halftime can come quick enough for the Dow High Chargers. Autumn Esner will go to the free throw line for Midland High, shooting one and one. Each team with 17 fouls. That last foul, by the way, on Muscle is her second, so add another player that has got two fouls. And Autumn Emsner, the senior, getting her first bucket of the game from the free throw line. Second shot is no good. Ball is loose and just barely kept in bounds by the Dow High Chargers. Lyman bringing the ball down for the green and gold, feeding it to Query, and Query is gonna draw the foul and that may be the third oh. one on Walter. Jess Walter, a team leader, even when she doesn't have any points on the board, and Walter just picked up her third foul. That is something that has been an issue from time to time, has been the fact that Walter has gotten into foul trouble before, and she's now playing with three. And that could be a real issue as we get into the second half here. Walter is staying in the game as Josie Cleary hits the first free throw. Chargers bringing Kaylee Wetkamp back into the game. Query's got five points on the contest so far. Make it six. Josie Query hitting the free throw to try to cut into this Midland High lead. Right now the Kimmicks on top with 140 to play here in the second quarter. Dow High putting some pressure on. Walter works the ball across midcourt. Lily Hami open for a three-pointer. Bounces around, doesn't fall through. Rebound by Macy Doster. Josie Query feeds it over to Wetcamp. Wetcamp driving in, had the wide open lane, and Wetcamp will go to the free throw line. And in the last couple of minutes, Tom, we've seen more penetration by the Dow High Chargers, and as a result, they've been going to the free throw line. Well, right now, I think Bob just wants his girls to get emotionally into this game, and he wants them driving to the basket, maybe get a couple of the Chemex in foul trouble, which has happened. On the free throw line, Kaylee Wetcamp, another of the many seniors for the Dow High Chargers. Wetcamp gets the first free throw to fall. The second one six. does as well. Wetcamp has got six points on the game for the Dow High Chargers. 28-15, Midland still with the lead, just over a minute to play, and we're going to have a foul called against the Chargers. Emily Lyman putting a little too much pressure and as a result, Jessica Walter will go to the free throw line. And this could be Walter's first point of the half. Not very often that she goes this long without scoring, and she still has not scored. Rebound in the putback by Midland High's Emily Wesmer, and Wesmer will end up going to the free throw line. Great job of rebounding by Wesmer, and she'll have a chance to shoot too. The foul called on Macy Doster is going to be her first. Emily Resmer able to get the first free throw to fall. Midland High making a substitution. And this and is a, a Abby Frazier. Abby Frazier who is not on our roster, but she, Abby Frazier has now checked into the game for the Chemics. She's a freshman. The second shot from Resmer is no good, and the Dow High Chargers will bring the ball down court. 
Nice drive there. Josie Query did a great job. Get her own rebound. The second attempt is good. Query had a great drive, missed the open shot, but followed it up. And the Dow High Chargers outscoring Midland here late. And a big turnover there. Josie Query with the steal. And Inzer committing the foul will send Query to the free throw line. Midland High's been stuck on 29 for quite some time, and the Chargers slowly trying to itch their way back into well, this game. And you see uh, J- Jessica Walter coming back into the game. Uh, this is something that Bob could build off of in whatever he tells his team on the at halftime, that uh, they have gotten back into this game, a lot of it at the free throw line. Josie Query getting the free throw to fall through. Query's got a... Pretty nice looking touch from the free throw line. (laughs) Well, she has one basket and she's closing in on 10 points. And the free throw streak continues for Josie Query. It is a 10 point game with 45 seconds to play here in the first quarter and the first half, second quarter. Midland High, Walter being double teamed. No place for Walter to go. Finally finds somebody open. Ensner on the baseline. Ensner can't get the shot to go. Chargers with the rebound. Jenna Query bringing the board down. The Chargers with a chance to trim this deficit to single digits. Wide open three, no good for linemen. Chargers able to get the rebound. Homa, or excuse me, uh, Homi trying to rip the basketball away. And a jump ball ball is called possession arrow in favor of the Kimmicks. Well, momentum has really changed here in the last three or four minutes. 20 seconds to play. Midland High looking for the final shot here in the first half. But first they have to get across the timeline. They can't do it. Jenna Query coming up with a steal, but a travel called by Wetcamp. Had a chance to cut it down to single digits, and Kaylee Wetcamp unable to steady her feet. Well, and that's just uh, they had an opportunity three on one, and she just rushed it. Easy to do. 10 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Walter across midcourt. Walter driving back, finding Inzer wide open. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Lineman in the second quarter coming to an end. And, well, a second quarter that was a tale of two halves. The Midland High Kimmicks on fire at the start of the second quarter, but it's the Dow High Chargers that end the second quarter with momentum. You know, and uh, what ends up happening is that both coaches get to go into the locker room with something to accomplish because Dow High was way ahead. They've got some energy going. They're creeping back into the game. And Elaine can go in saying they had a huge lead. they got to reestablish what they had. We have reached halftime here of the Girls Varsity Basketball Contest. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be ready for quarter number three, just a matter of moments away. At halftime, it's the Midland High Kimmicks 29, the Dow High Chargers 19, the third quarter right around the corner. And we welcome you back to Midland High School Girls Varsity Basketball. We are at halftime with the Midland High Kimmicks on top of the Dow High Chargers 29 to 19. Right now some festivities going on at center court involving the Booster Bash, which will be coming up in March at Dow Diamond, a great event put on by both the Midland High and Dow High's athletic boosters, the Booster Bash in March. And uh, right now they're awarding some raffle tickets. And so far, Tom, neither you nor I have won. I don't ever plan on winning a raffle. It's just not the way things go. Maybe the uh, lotto (laughs) one day, but but not a raffle. Well, here the uh, Midland High Kimmicks with a 10-point lead over the Dow High Chargers. And Tom, it was a uh, a first half that uh, the first quarter, you know, allowed the feeling out process. And then Midland High with uh, Lily Hami early in the second quarter. Hami was absolutely on fire, uh, racking up 17 points in the second quarter. Then Dow High able to make a comeback late. And right now, uh, momentum may be uh, on the side of the Dow High Chargers a little bit, although Midland's got a 10-point lead. You never know how how these girls are going to c- come out of the locker room. But, you know, when Hami drove baseline and she hit that reverse, Bob called a timeout. The game seemed to change right there. Yeah, it was a great timeout called by Bob Wellman, who is uh, celebrating a birthday this weekend. 
And uh, he would like nothing more than a Dow High Charger comeback victory for his birthday. The Midland High Chemics looking to play spoiler in that role. And right now, the Midland High Chemics leading by 10. As we mentioned, the leading scorer, Lily Hami, she's got 17 points in the first half. Alyssa Westfall, eight points. Most of those came in the first quarter. Emily Holman with two and a couple of free throws by various players. But a thing to note on the Midland High Chemics is the fact that Jess Walter is still scoreless. Yeah, and I don't think the person that is least concerned about that is Jess. You know, she wants to win the game. The most important aspect right now is the fact that she's got three fouls. For the Dow High Chargers, Josie Query is the leading scorer. She's got ten points, and then uh, we've got Kaylee Wetcamp with six, and Heather De- uh, Heather Durstein with three for the Dow High Chargers. And uh, you know, this is a Charger team that has spread the scoring all season long and uh, you know they've only got three players that have put the bucket through the hoop and they have played nearly everybody on their roster you're right you know and a lot of it is poise uh you know it's a midland dow game it's a game that uh, is just a little bit bigger than just playing a strong saginaw valley team in fact every player that is dressed for the dow high chargers played in the first half well it loosens them up i think now the Dow High Chargers with the ball to begin the third quarter as we are underway. Dow High thinking about taking the shot. Aaron O'Neill, who did not play much, feeds the ball inside. And Josie Query continues her scoring as Query gets the bucket in. And the Chargers have cut the deficit down to single digits. Midland High having trouble getting across midcourt. They do, and they've got a numbers advantage, but the bounce pass blocked away. Midland High keeping the ball. Jess Walter, three-pointer, and Walter finally in the scorebook as Jess Walter hits the three-pointer. Chargers looking to come right back, driving in. The shot put up by Query. A foul will be called. Emily Resmer picking up the foul, and that will send Query, a very good free-throw shooter, back to the line. Well, she has found her spot uh, on the court, and it's uh, 15 feet away. Josie Query, the first free throw is good. I hate to put a jinx on her, but uh, Josie Query looking very sharp from the free throw line. We'll let you read between the lines. She's uh, hit nine. Uh, there's ten. Ten free throws. I think she's ten for 11. I think she's only missed one. Dow High with a full court pressure. Walter loses the dribble. Dow High basketball. The double teaming doing what it was designed to do. And the Dow High Chargers will have the ball in front of their own bench. And we've got a foul away from the ball going against the Dow High Chargers. Not exactly. Illegal screen? It must have been. I, I did not see what it was, but... It was a foul that they're going to call on Josie Query, which is going to be the second one on her. Again, the pressure applied by the Dow High Chargers. Emily Homan being double teamed, and Homan ends up losing the ball. Josie Query will get the bucket and the foul. The Dow High defensive pressure here in the third quarter has given Midland High all kinds of trouble, and Josie Query has got a chance for a three-point play. You know, Jason, we're down on one end of the court, and they're scoring most of the baskets down here in the first half and second half. That's because they want us to have a, a good look at things. <laughs> Query completes the three-point play. 32-26. Midland High throws it away. Another steal by the Chargers. Query coming back the other direction. Feeds it over to Wetcamp. Wetcamp back to Query. Goes underneath. Durstein wide open. Heather Durstein with the basket. And Elaine Mahabier needs a timeout. The Chargers pulling within four. Well, you got a lot of life with the Chargers right now. And Midland is scrambling to find their stride again. And the Dow High Chargers absolutely unstoppable here in the third quarter. And the Midland High Chemics looking to come up with an answer to somehow stop that defensive pressure that the Dow High Chargers are putting on. 
Right, and uh, th this, press this pressure is putting two girls on Walter, and she's having to give the ball up. And uh, Midland's got to do a better job with their secondary ball handlers to advance the ball. Now the Midland High Kimmicks looking to inbound, and again the Chargers showing the full court pressure. Walter will get the ball. She goes across midcourt. Walter with a nice feed and count the bucket for Alyssa Westfall. That's a combination that worked well in the first quarter. Walter to Westfall for the bucket. Six-point game, lots of time to play, 6.20 here in the third quarter. Josie Query wide open, gets the bucket to go. Josie Query has taken charge here in the third quarter. It's a four-point game, Midland High. Jeff Walker, three-pointer, no good. Rebound Chargers, Wetcamp brings it down. Kaylee Wetcamp with the ball on the far side. Feeds it back to Query, now to Wetcamp. Long two-pointer for Kaylee, in and out, no good. Great rebound by Durstein, and she will go to the free-throw line. Midland is starting to stand around. They're starting to watch the game rather than play it. And I'm not sure what uh, Bob Wellman said in the locker room, but whatever Wellman said, it has motivated the Dow High Chargers here in the third quarter. They're playing very well right now. Heather Durstein on the free throw line does not get the uh, friendly bounce. And my numbers are correct. Um, Query has 19 points right now. She has definitely emerged as the leader on the floor for the Dow High Chargers in this game. Durstein does not get a friendly bounce on either of the free throw attempts. Midland High with the ball, but the Chemex battling heavy pressure trying to get across midcourt. Walter Duff finds an open lane, and Walter will draw the foul. Dow High's Aaron O'Neill, the junior, tried to slide over and get to positioning before Walter charged in. Could not do it, so Walter will go to the free throw line. Well, and Walter ha had a lane, and uh, she was smart enough to slide down into it. Jess Walter, only her third point, well, fourth point of the night as Walter hits the free throw. This is the game we expected. Second shot from Walter is good. It's a five-point game, six-point game. Midland High 36, Dow High 30. Chargers almost threw the ball away. Nice job by Wetcamp, and Wetcamp drives an entire baseline and gets the bucket to go. Kaylee Wetcamp kept it in play and ends with two points. Wetcamp has got eight points on the night. Midland High with a numbers advantage. Jeff Walker, three-pointer, no good. Rebound still on the ground. Walker had it briefly, not for long, and they're going to call over and back. I'm not sure that that wasn't tipped. And, uh, well, if it was, that's not going to be the ruling. I thought the ball was tipped away by the Chargers. The official Bruce Moore says uh, otherwise, and Dow High will okay. have the ball. Looking to go inside, and the Heather Durstein will take another trip to the free throw line. You know, I'm not sure what that rule is. I'm going to have to go back and revisit the, that over and back. But I thought Dow tipped it, then Midland tipped it. But there was no control after that. Now in either case, it resulted in a Kimmick turnover. Now Heather Durstein on the free throw line for the Chargers. Durstein getting the first bucket to fall through. That's her sixth point of the evening. Second shot coming up. And the second shot from Durstein is good as well. We have got ourselves a two point game, 36-34, and a lot of time to play. Five minutes here in the third quarter. And Midland, did they get across? Uh, we're gonna have a carry called on Walter. The Chargers have a chance to tie or take the lead. It has been all down in the first three minutes of the second half. Well, Midland has really struggled with, with pressure uh, since about uh, uh, midway through the second quarter. And a great drive by Josie Cleary, and we are all tied up. Charger fans on their feet, 21 points for Josie Query and a big steal by Christine Muscle. 
Muscle coming up with a great steal. Feeds it over to Durstein. Durstein bounce pass looking for Jenna. And the ball goes out of bounds. Will be Midland High basketball. Boy, momentum has really changed in this game. And Midland High is as flat right now as Dow High was in the first quarter. Yeah, the Midland High Chemics had a huge lead, almost a 20-point lead at one point. <laughs> now it is all tied up. Walter with the basketball. Walter feeds it over. A lot of contact underneath. No foul called. And Midland High will retain possession of the basketball. The Chemics looking to inbound. Jess Walter has been the go-to person here in the third quarter. Walter trying to fight her way through traffic, and she ends up traveling. And right now, it may be a case time where Jess Walter is trying to do too much. Yeah, this is really uh, out of character for her. Uh, she's, uh, she is trying to do too much, but her players are not moving to help her out. The Dow High Chargers with the basketball. Christine Muscle working the dribble. Dow High now couple as Josie Query will set up the play. Chargers were playing with a sense of urgency moments ago. Now they're playing with a chance to take the lead. Wetcamp drives in, can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Emily Resmer. Emily Holman will bring the ball down. This may be what the Kimmicks need, giving somebody other than Walter a chance to dribble the ball, but they quickly go back to Walter. Lily Hami now over to Holman. Emily Holman, couple of drives, back to Walter. Walter, three-pointer, and it bounces, and it will get stuck on top of the basket. Well, the Dow High Chargers will have the ball as the uh, basket, you see it right there, laying uh, in between the support beams. 3.31 to play here in the third quarter, all tied up, 36 to 36. And Anybody have a broom handle? Exactly, the Chargers, <laughs> uh, I think the official wanted uh, her to knock the ball down, but they were saying, well, we'll play with that basketball. Well, see, now this is a lot of pressure to try to get that, that ball down. That, that, that is unfair pressure put on yeah. somebody. Because there's so many... Uh, Support pipes there. <laughs> How yeah. about that? Leave, leave it to uh, Mark Dickerson to be able to get the uh, to get the ball down. Well, you, you know those coaches just have that knack, you know. Now here we go. Play resumes. Three and a half minutes to play here in the third quarter. Chargers looking to drive in. Christine Muscle three pointer falls short. Gets her own rebound, and Muscle will put it in. That's her first two. That's the it. first basket by Christine Muscle. And Tom, did you ever teach your players make sure you follow your shot? Uh, definitely. You're the first person to know the shot's not going in. It worked well for Muscle. Dow High has their first lead since the first quarter. Hami trying to drive into the paint. She puts it up. Doesn't fall through. Rebound pulled down by Midlands Westfall. And a jump ball is going to be called. And temporarily, the magic that Hami was feeling in the first half seems to be gone, but uh, she's looking to uh, recover it. Midland High inbounding the ball. Lily Hami with a three-pointer. Shot does not go through. Muscle trying to come up with a steal. She was blocked out nicely by Hami. Midland High now works back in the other direction. Hami. Feeding the ball to Walter. Walter with a couple of dribbles. Kimmick's looking to slow the pace down a little bit. It's a two-point Dow High lead. Walter almost lost the ball. She did. Dow High coming up with the steal. Heather Durstein count the bucket. Durstein has played well here in the third quarter. Dow High another steal. Christine Muscle. Working it over to Josie Query. Query trying to fire back. Ball goes out of bounds. Dow will keep possession. And Midland High needs to call another timeout. Elaine Mahabir looking to talk things over with two minutes to play here in the third quarter. It is Dow High 40, Midland High 36. And one thing that's interesting is that in the first half, Dow High had three girls score, 
And really, the same three girls have continued to score with only uh, Christine Muscle having that driving layup. So the scoring opportunities are still with the same girls. We haven't seen the balance that Dow has, has had, but Midland has really struggled to get the ball up against Dow's pressure. Uh, That's been, been the biggest difference. It's been a back-and-forth game and a great contest being played here on the girls' side of things. And don't forget, also airing this weekend is boys' varsity basketball. The Midland High Kimmicks and the Dow High Chargers getting set to do battle on the boys' side of things. The Midland High Kimmicks, 9-3. and three. Dow High boys, 4-8. and eight. And that boys' varsity basketball game also airing this weekend along with this girls' contest. A lot of uh, opportunities to watch some basketball here on MPS TV. Dow High trying to inbound the ball, but we've got a foul away from the inbound that is going to go against the Chargers, and I believe it was Jenna Query who just picked up her third foul. And that could be an issue here. First charger to be in foul trouble is Jenna Query. She's playing with three. Jess Walter from Midland also playing with three fouls. Walter's got the basketball. Nice pass underneath to Resmer, and Resmer able to get the bucket to go. The junior pulling Midland high within two as Resmer is in the scorebook. 140 to play here in the third quarter. Dow High working the ball over to Carly McGee, who checked in during the timeout. McGee to Jenna Query, now works it over to Macy Doster. A lot of fresh bodies in there for the Dow High Chargers. Josie Query has played the entire game for Dow High. She will set up the play at the top of the key. Josie trying to get by Hami, can't do it. We'll have to pull it out. Long pass over to Carly McGee. McGee drives into the paint. Can't find an open shot, loses the ball. Dow High gets it back. That shot does not go. Midland High with the rebound and a reach in foul called on Lyman. Emily Lyman being a little too aggressive. She couldn't get the shot and the rebound and then she commits the reach in foul, which is going to be the first one on her, but the fourth one on the Dow High Chargers. Well, and now we look at the Dow High's uh, pressure again. And uh, they just need to get some help from the backcourt. They're strictly trying to do it all with their guards. Midland High across midcourt. Jeff Walter behind the back pass to Resmer gets it back, but Walter cannot get the bucket to go. Dow High coming back in the other direction. It's a two-point game under a minute to play here in the third. Carly McGee's shot doesn't go through. Battle for the rebound, and a jump ball will be called. One thing that Emily Resmer is good at, if there's a tie-up, she is not going to let go of that basketball. She's strong. She's very strong. Dow High inbounding underneath their own basket. 39 seconds to play here in the third. Dow High. Working the ball to Josie Query. Query will set things up. Chargers may be playing for the final shot. Clock under 30 seconds. Carly McGee taking the ball only briefly. McGee was relaying a message to Query. Query holding on to the ball. Clock down to 15 seconds. Query. Couple of dribbles, takes the screen. Query drives in, can get the shot to go. Put back is no good by Sapansky, but Dow High with the rebound a second time. That shot is no good by Lyman. Another attempt, multiple chances, no <laughs> foul called. Wow. Bob Wellman cannot believe that all that contact and no foul, and we go to the fourth quarter with a two point game. You know, I, I really didn't see any foul. I mean, there, there might have been contact, but there was no actual slap of the arms in there. That, that was exciting, and that sets the stage right now for a very exciting fourth quarter. And I think right now one of the major issues is that Query and Walter each have three fouls, and early fourth foul is going to put one of them sitting down for a while. Uh, we anticipated a great matchup 
All together, these two teams only have three losses. Dow High undefeated coming into this contest. The Midland High Chemex at 10 and three. So we anticipated what a great game, and so far that is what we are seeing between these two teams. A two-point contest as we've got eight minutes of varsity basketball left to play. And then two weeks from now, Tom, these same two teams do it again. Well, and I think both teams are going to uh, prepare for the game a l much differently. You know, I think they're going to uh, work on a lot of things that the other team may have sprung on them because both these teams are very talented. Now the Midland High Kimmix will inbound to begin quarter number four. It is a two-point lead for the Dow High Chargers. Biggest lead of the game was for Midland High back in the second quarter, but that has been evaporated by a strong Charger defense like that. Another steal by Sapansky, and the Dow High Chargers will have the basketball. Again, Josie Query to set up the defense. Works it over to Emily Lyman. Back to Query briefly. Now they go inside. A great give and take, but Lyman cannot get the bucket to go. And a foul will be called on the Chargers during the battle for the rebound. I think Lyman was over the back going in for the rebound. And that's uh, actually they they're going to call Macy Doster. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. And that's the second one on Doster, the fifth team foul on the Chargers. Neither team in the bonus yet. One foul to give for Dow, two to give for Midland. Wide open underneath, and the shot does not fall for Westfall. Dow High will come back the other way. Query inside. Sapansky wide open, but that shot doesn't go, and Alyssa Westfall will have the rebound. Walter bringing the ball down court for the Kimmich. Jeff Walter looking to set things up. Lily Hami can't hold on to the ball. It's going to be Charger basketball. <laughs> Lily Hami was red hot in the second quarter, Tom, but she has gone very quiet here in the second half. Well, they've not been able to get the ball to her uh, to get a good look. And, uh, yeah, she's really cooled down. The Dow High Chargers across midcourt. Nobody has scored here in the fourth quarter. It's a two-point game. Josie Query into the paint. Now feeds it over to Wetcamp. Wetcamp can't get the shot to go. Ball is loose on the ground. Everybody fighting for it. And a jump ball will be called. Possession arrow in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Well, at this point, uh, Bob Wellman may be benefiting from the fact that he did a lot of substituting early. And many of the girls who are on the court for Midland High have played a lot of minutes. Wide open lane, but Josie Query cannot get the bucket to go. The rebound, and uh, if they're going to call it before the shot. Erin O'Neill had the rebound, but she will not go to the free throw line. They'll say the foul was before O'Neill tried to post up the shot. And who are they giving the foul to? That's going to be the fifth foul on the Midland High Chemex, and they're going to give it to Emily Holman, which is her third. So two Midland High players in foul trouble with 6.20 to play. Shot counted. Kaylee Wetcamp, the senior, with the bucket. She's in double digits, 10 points on the night for Wetcamp. Dow High leading now, 42 to 38. And a foul is going to be called. Wetcamp is going to get called for the foul. She was trying to ride Lily Hami down the court. And that foul will be the sixth one. So now it will actually, uh, that is the sixth one on the Dow High Charger. So Midland High will now go to the free throw line from here on out. Six minutes to play in the contest. Dow High leading by four. Midland High with the basketball. Up at the top of the key, Emily Resmer looking for some place to go. Resmer can't find anybody. Finally, Walter bails her out. Jess Walter is just a junior. She's the leader on this Midland High team. Emily Holman trying to drive in. Feeds it to Westfall. Westfall can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Jenna Query. 
Dow high quickly down court. Lineman, no place to go. She's being guarded by Hami. And a timeout is called before the takedown on the far side. <laughs> and Bob Wellman calling the timeout. It's a 30-second timeout with 5.22 to play here in the fourth quarter. We'll reset what we have. 42-38, the Dow High Chargers with the lead. Possession arrow in favor of the Midland High Chemex. The Chemex have three timeouts, the Chargers have two. This is gonna be a real interesting finish. Uh, and again, uh, you watch uh, Walter come down and kind of size up Josie Query, and they do the same thing. Query does the same thing to Walter on the other end of the court. Now this game has definitely lived up to its hype. We have got a huge crowd on hand here at Midland High and they are being treated to a back and forth battle between two top teams in the Saginaw Valley. Driving inside and uh, right, Jenna Query will go to the free throw line. She couldn't get the bucket to go, but Jenna will have two free throw shots. The foul, by I the way. I think it was on Holman. If it's on Holman, that's gonna be her fourth. And it is Emily Holman now with four fouls. You know, she hasn't sat much tonight either. I think she's played a real solid game. Uh, hasn't given them a whole lot of scoring, but defensively and just uh, uh, keep, keeping uh, the boat afloat here as uh, mid on high is struggling to stay in this game now. Jenna Query the younger of the Query sisters, and Jenna able to get the free throw to fall. Second shot coming up, and that one is good as well. Jenna hitting both free throws. It is a 44-38 game, and the Midland High Chemics lose the ball. It'll be Charger basketball. Apparently, all the queries shoot back, shoot free throws very well. I wonder how much time is you know <laughs> spent in the backyard or in the uh, driveway doing uh, free throw shots because both of those ladies have great looking shots. Underneath, and this time it will be Erin O'Neill going to the free throw line. And that's got to be against Emily, Emily Resmer. Erin O'Neill. A 6'1 junior has the size for the Dow High Chargers, and she used that size to her advantage. Yeah, Resmer's about 5'9", and uh, gives up about four inches. O'Neal getting the free throw to go, and Christine Muscle checks into the game for the Dow High Chargers as well. That's O'Neal's first bucket, of the, uh, first basket of the night, first free throw. Second shot for O'Neal. That one a little bit too hard, and we're going to have a over-the-back foul called on Jenna, and I believe that maybe is that four on Jenna? Uh, that's Jenna. J Josie's got three. Jenna, uh, I think that's just one on her, isn't it? Yeah, we'll find out momentarily. It'll be a one-and-one -one situation for the Midland High Chemex, so Emily Resmer will go to the free-throw line for the... Midland High Kimmix. It was 52. They haven't listed uh, yeah, the that, fouls. Well, that's what the discussion going on to the scores table may be about is who that foul was called on. All right now, Scott Helmka, one of the men in stripes, over talking to the scores table and uh, and I'm, I'm not sure if they were clarifying who the foul was on or possibly if it was a one and one or not, but either way, oh. play is now resuming. Well, and Jason, it, you it was right. on Jenna, and that is her fourth. Someday you'll learn, Tom. 45-38, <laughs> Dow I, High with the lead, just under five minutes to play. I knew Josie was in trouble, but uh, Jenna's got more serious issues. Right now, Dow High's Heather Durstein working the ball over to Christine Muscle. Muscle works it back to Wet Camp over to Durstein. Durstein to O'Neill. O'Neill, no place to go until Josie Query has the ball. Chargers right now finding the open person underneath, and the shot does not fall for O'Neill. 
And the battle for the rebound, or the battle for the rebound will result in a foul against Dow, and that will send Midland to the free throw line. Everybody is shooting from here on out. This time it's Lily Hami who will be on the free throw line for Midland. Hami gets the first half of the one and one to go. Still anybody's contest. It's a six point lead for Dow, make it a five point lead. And those are Hami's first two points of the second half. Christine Muscle with the ball, works it back to Josie Query. Dow High to Kaylee Wetcamp, back to Muscle, over to Durstein. Dow High doing a great job weaving in and out, working the ball around the perimeter. Chargers not in a hurry to score, although they don't want to come away from the possession without scoring. Josie, they they are ahead. trying to, to uh, uh, burn off a little bit of clock right now. That's to their advantage. They're up by five. Right now, Kaylee Wetcamp with the ball and a couple of dribbles. Wetcamp to Josie Query. Dow High looking to set up the play. They've burned off about 30 seconds so far. Josie Query charging in. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Emily Homan. Jeff Walter with the ball for the Midland High Kimmicks. Walter, long three-pointer, way off the mark, and the Chargers will have the basketball. Three twenty-four to play, Dow High leading by five. Chargers looking to remain undefeated. They go inside, and Erin O'Neill using her size to her advantage, O'Neill with the bucket. Seven point lead, Walter feeding it too hard underneath. No way Westfall was gonna handle that one. And the Kimmicks may be hitting the panic button although there are still three minutes to play in the game. Well, they certainly have reached that point of doubt. O'Neal underneath, can't get the shot to go. Lily Hami with the rebound. Hami loses the dribble, gets it back. Hami being double teamed and will throw the ball off the foot of Query. Almost a little bit surprised that uh, Elaine Mahabier did not use a timeout. She's got three remaining. Walter with the basketball. Seven point deficit for Midland High. Seven point lead for Chargers. Whether you wear green and gold or blue and gold depends on how you look at it. <laughs> Dow High, Josie Query is gonna end up trying to run off time and Jeff Walter looking to pick the pocket, and it was off of Query, so the Kimmicks will get the basketball. That was interesting, and they, both players pretty much agree with that. I'm, I'm surprised. I didn't see it quite that way, but. And now Bob Wellman is going to uh, call a timeout. I actually thought that it was a good call, that uh, it was off of uh, Query, so as a okay. result. It is going to be Midland High basketball. We've got a timeout on the floor with 2.36 to play in the game. Dow High leading by seven. Now, if you take a look at Bob Wellman talking to the Dow High Chargers, if you're just tuning in and you want to watch this event in its entirety, the airtime for this contest will be Thursday, January 31st through Tuesday, February 5th, showing it at 2.30 in the afternoon and 10 o'clock in the evening every day between Thursday and Tuesday. For more dates and times, be sure to check out the Midland Daily News uh, newspaper on Sunday or check out the Midland Public Schools website. And this game is also going to uh, be streamed on the MPS website. And not only can you check it out on Channel 98, but we're also digital on Channel 993. So a lot of chances to watch what has been a great game between two top Saginaw Valley programs. You know, I, as I watch Dow, this is the first time I've had an opportunity this year to watch them. And they are resilient and uh, they've got character. They, they were way, way down and they fought their way back. Uh, I'm impressed. Two and a half minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Jess Walter working the basketball for the Midland High Chemics and we're gonna have a foul called away from the ball and I 
think uh, I think they may have got Josie Query. No, they didn't. They ended up calling Heather Durstein for the foul. Bob Wellman wants an explanation, but it'll result in a one and one, and it will send Lily Hami to the free throw line. Hami hitting the first half of the one and one. Lily Hami. <laughs> So far in this game, relatively quiet in the second quarter, but the free throws may be what the Midland High Kimmicks need. It's a five-point game with 2.15 to play. Dow High leading by five. Chargers working to Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp working over to O'Neill. Chargers around the perimeter trying to run some time off the clock. Chargers are in the bonus, so any foul by Midland High will send them to the free throw line. So far, the Kimmicks are not fouling. We're under two minutes to play. Query working back. Wet camp now with the ball. How long do you wait before you start to foul? Now they drive in. Josie Query will go to the free throw line. That's not the foul that you wanted. And Query will be on the line. Well, uh, they, they ran Query off the screen, and uh, Hami had to hurry up and, and cover because uh, Query uh, lo lost her defensive player and uh, just got there a tad late. Three fouls on Hami and Josie Query getting the free throw to fall through. Query has 22 points tonight. A great contest for Josie Query, and she hits both free throws, making it a seven-point lead for the Dow High Chargers, 144 to play. Lily Hami with the ball for the Midland High Chemex. Hami driving in, and a blocking foul will be called. Had to wait to find out if it was a block or a charge. Bruce Moore says it was a block, and Lily Hami will go to the free throw line. Well, for Midland, uh, they don't mind uh, putting points on the board uh, with no time off the clock. Lily Hami able to get the free throw to fall. The timeout situation, Midland High has three timeouts remaining. The Dow High Chargers have one timeout remaining. And now they have uh, clarified who that foul was on. They originally gave it to Kaylee Wetcamp, but now they have switched it to Josie Query, which is the third one on her. Lily Hami hitting both free throws for Midland High. 49-44, back to a five-point game, 90 seconds to play. Christine Muscle with the ball. Muscle working it over to O'Neill. O'Neill trying to find somebody open and finds Josie Query. Walter trying to guard Query. Walter cannot foul, and she did. Not the, not the Kimmick that you wanted to foul, but Jeff Walter ended up making contact, and it will be a one and one. That is the fourth foul now on Walter, and Josie Query goes to the free throw line. Well, they give you five, so uh, it doesn't matter where you get your fourth one. Just protect yourself and stay on the court after that. A rare free throw miss, and the ball is loose on the ground. Everybody fighting for it, and the jump ball will be called. Possession arrow in favor of Midland. Great hustle by both Autumn and Enzer, who checked into the game, and Kaylee Wetcamp. Great hustle from both of those players. Midland will inbound, but now the possession arrow becomes Dow's friend. Double teaming, Walter working her way through. Walter feeding to Westfall, and Westfall will be fouled. This will benefit the Chemex, getting points with the clock stopped. Yeah, it does, but uh, Dow has been real patient when they've gotten on the offensive side, and it's time that uh, Midland's going to have to foul. That foul on Aaron O'Neill is the fourth one on O'Neill. There are several players playing with four fouls. The first free throw is successful for Midland High's uh, Alyssa Westfall, and Elaine Mahabir will call a timeout with 1.06 to play 
in what is now a four-point contest, 49-45. You take a look at the great crowd that has filed in here to Midland High to watch this varsity basketball contest. We got a great crowd tonight for this girls' basketball game. But West Falls free throw is really important because if she makes it, Midland has a chance to set the press. Otherwise, they're in transition and they can burn off some more clock. Be very interesting to see what both coaches end up coming up with here in the final minute of play. We anticipated uh, a great game and that is what we are getting. The Chargers battling to stay undefeated. The Midland High Chemex coming in with only three losses and those were uh, very tough losses. In fact, uh, you know, only one may have been one that uh, that should have been or could have been. The other losses for the Midland High Chemex, very close games, very strong games. These are two quality programs. They are and there's a lot of great talent coming up through the ranks. One free throw shot remaining for Alyssa Westfall. The junior, in fact only three seniors on this Midland High team and the free throw is no good. Battle for the rebound. Jump ball will be called. Possession down. Not much time coming off the clock. We're down to a minute four. Midland High putting on the pressure. It's a four point game with 64 seconds to play. Christine Muscle with the ball. Now the Kimmicks will drop back. Muscle trying to get across midcourt and does. Now working to Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp to Muscle quickly. Now works it over to Durstein. Durstein finding O'Neill. Quickly over to Wetcamp. Chargers running off as much time as possible. How long do you wait before you foul? Inter, and now Autumn Inter finally fouls, but with the clock down to 39 seconds, did the Kimmicks wait too long? There's still uh, basically 40 seconds to go in the game. You can, there's still uh, maybe uh, five or six different possessions, uh, depending on how quickly they choose to shoot. But um, no, but they had to have Enzer make the foul. Yeah, Enzer picks up her third, but she's not in foul trouble at all. First free throw was no good. Josie Query could not miss at one point. Now she's missed her last two free throws. Make it her last three, and the rebound pulled down by Midland, knocked away by Dow, but the Kimmicks will get the ball back. And I think this is smart, Dow putting a lot of pressure on Walter, but they're not getting any help. There we go. We got Hami with the ball now. But Lily Hami picking up her dribble. Elaine Mahabir got the timeout before the ball was knocked away. Mahabir calls the timeout, and... The clock will stop with 33 seconds to play. It is a four-point game between these two teams, and each team now down to one timeout remaining. You know, I thought I saw Katie Ortega uh, before the game. She was not dressed for the game, and she was a guard for Midland High last year through the tournaments. And uh, although she came off the bench, uh, she hasn't played tonight. I don't think she's physically ready yet. But they could really use that extra guard to bring the ball up against this pressure. The possession arrow is in favor of Midland. The scoreboard in favor of the Chargers. Four-point game, 33 seconds to play. One timeout remains for both teams. Lily Hami will inbound the ball for the Midland High Chemists. She does over to Walter. Walter dribbles towards the baseline. Walter with a great spin in traffic. Walter can't get the shot to go. Christine Muscle with the rebound to the Chargers. Now the Kimmicks need the foul, but Dow High passing the ball back and forth. They get it across the timeline. Jeff Walter forced a foul, and that is going to be the fifth foul on Walter. You know, at that point, you do have to stop the clock. Uh, it's just too bad that we didn't have some other player closer to the play than Jess Walter. Jess Walter will foul out with 17 seconds to play in the contest. Jess Walter finishing with 22 five. points. Five. five. Five points. And Josie Query hitting Wait, the free throw. 
That's what I get for trying to read your hand I right know, there. I know, I know. Josie Query hitting one of two this time down the line, but it's a five-point game with only 15 seconds to play. Autumn Inser with the ball. All the Chargers have to do right now is hold on to the basketball. The final second ticking off of the clock, and the Dow High Chargers are going to go to 15-0 on the season. The Dow High Chargers remain undefeated as they pick up a five-point win over the Midland High Kimmicks, 50 to 45 in the uh, Cinderella story or the fairy book story for the Dow High Chargers continuing as they are now 15 and 0 on the season. The Dow High Chargers led by Josie Cleary with 23 points in the contest. Kayla Wetkamp finished with 10. Heather Durstein with a strong second half finishing with nine points. For Midland High, their leading scorer was Lily Hami, finishing with 22. Alyssa Westfall had 10 points, most of those early in the game. The Dow High Chargers, at one time, they were down by almost 20 points. And Tom, the Dow High Chargers coming from behind, and they remain undefeated. It was a game of character and momentum swings. Absolutely, and the momentum swing ended with Dow High. Bob Wellman celebrating birthday number 43 by remaining undefeated in the Saginaw Valley and in the season. For our entire MPF and MCTV crew and for my broadcast partner Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. Our final score in girls varsity basketball, Dow High 50, Midland 45. Good night, everyone.